Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you some things that I feel like I would do differently if I had to go back and start my engineering career over again. You know, I don't live with a lot of regret. I mean, I can't, it would do me no good, but I feel like I can view my entire journey right now in retrospect and I can think, I could be better positioned for success right now had I done certain things as a younger engineer in college. First is just thinking outside the box. I've never been very good at thinking outside the box. Ever since I was a kid, I always just sort of followed the status quo. I always thought I was gonna grow up, have a nine to five job, have a family, just, you know, have a life that's not unlike a lot of people's. And I never really thought about what was really exciting to me like what kind of life I really wanted to have. And that was probably because I just didn't know. And when I was younger, I don't think it would have been possible for me to know. And even now, I don't really know what I want my life to look like in five years. But my point is, I always just sort of did things because I thought I was supposed to do them. You know, I was supposed to go to school, I was supposed to go to college, and then I was supposed to find a job so that I could support myself and live independently. But never once did I question that progression. I don't feel like I took many risks and I definitely didn't think about unconventional career paths or just different paths through life that I could possibly take. And I'm not saying I don't like where I'm sitting in my life right now, both literally and figuratively. I actually really enjoy what I do and I feel really lucky to be in the position that I'm in right now. But as I learn more about the world and other people and I see what other people are doing, I feel like I should have tried to think a little bit more for myself and question more of what other people were telling me I should have been doing. Take entrepreneurship, for example. I never even considered it. I never tried building anything for myself. And now with this YouTube channel, I mean, I don't know where it'll go or how long I'll be doing it, but it's very rewarding to put effort into something on your own initiative, to be self-motivated and to see it grow, even if the growth is very slow. Before last year even, I feel like I relied way too much on other people to guide me through life. The second one is I feel like I should have put in more effort to optimize my own efficiency. For optimizing efficiency, I mean that I should have thought more about how to optimize my own performance by doing small things like keeping an organized file system on my computers or using the cloud more or using Git repositories. When I was in college, I think I would email documents to myself if I needed to work on them on different computers. People definitely were not utilizing Google Drive or other forms of cloud storage at the same magnitude as they are now. And when I was in college, for my own code, my form of version control was to copy a script and to rename it by appending something like underscore v1 or underscore v2 to the file name. It was just extremely messy and in retrospect, I should have used Git and learned Git basics earlier. If I had just held myself to a higher standard of organization on my machines, and if I had forced myself to learn and develop a certain level of proficiency in just like simple command line stuff or bash scripting, I could have saved myself so much time. For my job now, I do a lot of stuff just straight from the terminal, and there's not a lot of dragging and dropping folders and files or searching through levels of directories just to find a file. Anyone who's in this field is probably thinking, no duh. I just didn't do a lot from the command line until I started working full time, and it really does speed up my overall workflow. I guess I would encourage my younger self to just have higher standards for organization, speed, and efficiency. I still have so much that I can learn in this area, but I know that spending the time now to really develop the skills to speed up my overall workflow can save me so much time in the future and probably many headaches. The third thing that I think I would do differently is about programming. I think that I would probably go a route that's more programming intensive, or at least go a route where I could really develop my programming abilities more. I had never realized how useful of a skill programming really is. And I always thought, well, I don't wanna be a software developer, so coding is just gonna be one of those tools that I could pull out of my back pocket if I need to. But the thing is, especially in my field with machine learning and in research where you need to design and implement and test different methods and ideas, it is so important to write 
functional, clean code that works correctly. And to be honest, I didn't learn about good coding practices until I interned at Google. And even stuff as simple as how to properly format your code or how to write comments or doc strings, I didn't learn any of that in school. And I just wish that I had learned all of that earlier. Oh, and unit testing. There are some videos on YouTube explaining unit testing. And if you're writing code and you're not writing unit tests, please go learn how to do that. Again, this is an area where I know I can develop so much more and I can get so much better. But from my own experience, unit tests have helped me so many times to quickly debug some function. I really wish that I had developed the habit of writing unit tests for my own code when I started learning how to code. And lastly, I think that I would talk to more professors, try to network more, talk to more people in industry, just to gain a new perspective on different problems. Even just talking to people in adjacent industries or listening to podcasts, I realize how much I don't know. When I was a younger engineer in college, I did not realize how ignorant I was. And I just didn't take an interest in a lot of things unless, again, somebody else was telling me to take an interest in it. I think I should have adopted a mindset that was more about being like a student of the world, trying to learn as much as I could, being interested in more things. Especially as engineers, we are supposed to be innovators. How can we be innovative if we don't understand how the world works, how other people think, what other people want, all the problems that we face? I guess it goes with the out of the box thinking. I wanted to be an engineer, but I wasn't thinking like one. I was only thinking about problems that were presented to me in class. I still feel like I have a very narrow view of the industry and probably the world too, but I do feel like I learn a lot every day, just listening to podcasts, reading articles, talking to other people. And I wish I had this mindset earlier. And that is going to conclude this video. If you are a seasoned engineer, I would love to know if you could go back and start your career over. Is there anything that you would do differently? I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Oh boy.